Today we're going to learn how to integrate a search bar in our applications. So the idea is that we can have a list of data and we can add a search bar on the top. And when you type something, the list is going to start getting smaller because you're going to be filtering based on what you're typing. Uh, first, let me show you a little bit of what we have here. Uh, right now we just have a, a, your regular ion list and it's looping through an array called food list. Uh, food list has se uh, several properties and we are displaying the, the item's name, the item's quantity, and the item's type. Uh, and as you can see, we have Angular Fire and Angular Firestore initialized in the addmodule.ts file. Uh, the idea is that you replace this Firebase config with your own Firebase credentials so that you can also run, run this code. And inside the home page, we are importing the first operate, uh, RxJR operator and Angular Firestore. Then we are creating the public class library, I'm sorry, public class variable called food list. So this is the list we are showing here. And then we are injecting Firestore into our constructor. From the ng-init function, we are calling the function initialize items and assigning the return value to food list. And inside that function, basically what we're doing is just calling our food list collection and just transforming into a promise to get all of this data. Now, to add the search bar, the first, the first thing we need to do is to add the component for the search bar. Uh, I will link to the components documentation, but basically we're just going to use strictly what we need to get this working. Uh, so we get the Ionic search bar and we add the handler Ion input. Uh, what this handler will do is that every time you click into the input box, it's going to run the filter list function. So as you see, if we try it here, we're going to get an error because that function doesn't exist yet. So now we are going to create it. So let's go to the home page and let's see, let's create that function. And now we have the filter list function and it, and it is taking the event. So the first thing we need to do in this function is to reinitialize the food list. Why are we doing this? Because let's say you start uh, looking in the in the search list and you type something like e a n and then you get the first the first one right here uh, if you delete something or you try to add more words or you try to search your list will be already only that item so you won't find anything else so that's why the first thing we do is that we reinitialize our list so that we don't have to to run into issues there. Uh, after that, we are going to get the search term from the event. Basically, what is the search term? Whatever we're typing here. So if I type PAS, then the search term is PAS. Uh, after that, we are going to let us our function know that if there is no search term, basically just terminate the function and don't do anything else. And lastly, we are going to run a filter through the food list array where we are going to use the index of function of the uh, string prototype. Uh, if you don't know what index of does, it basically returns the index of the search term. So let me save this so you can see. If I type something like P A, Basically, it's going in through each item and it's returning uh, the index where they, it finds this PA. And if that PA is not inside of the item, it returns a negative one. So basically, we are just telling it, if that index of if is major is greater than negative one, then basically it means that our term, our search term is there. So it returns true, and then we show it in the, in the array list. And this is what I was talking about. Look, if I delete something, it shows us the entire list again because we are re reinitializing the items. 
basically, we are filtering here against the name, but if you add other search terms like type, you can also get, for example, you see I have types here, breakfast, lunch, and I think I have snack. So if I type snack, look, I get all of the ones that are snack. The same would be here if instead of the, the type, I would do something like quantity. If I save this and I go like gr, it brings all of the ones that have the grams there. Let's see, sorry about that. But over there, uh, a cup. So you see, basically you can tell it which properties you want to filter against. This way you can build a rich text search and basically just type whatever you want and find it anywhere inside your object. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll make sure to add links to everything we talked about here.